Hi everyone, Bill and Stacy here. This morning, uh, before I went to work, we put in lemon garlic butter chicken into the crock pot. Okay. We had Bill go ahead and start it for me, and I'm getting home from work now, and I'm excited to see what we've got. We've never tried this one before, and uh, it's going to be a new, different recipe for us. Yeah, you know, I think we're all looking for alternatives for meals and an additional meal to throw into the mix now and then. And who doesn't like chicken or use chicken in their keto, right? Well, this is just a different way with a lot of different uh, flavorings and whatnot mm -hmm. to give it a little different thing. So what we're going to do is open this up. And we'll, here's, here's the ah moment. Ah, is it steaming? Oh, it smells good. <laughs> smells really good. So what we're going to do is put some of this on a plate, sit down, let you know what we think about it. And then if it's successful, at the end of the video, like a backwards recipe, <laughs> Stacey will show you what she put in it and how she made it, but it was pretty quick and pretty simple. Yes, so, I was able and, to get it within 15 minutes of yeah. leaving for work. And, and, then, I, and I think if we weren't trying to film it and do it, it would have been 10 minutes or less. Right. And then, of course, you know, the crock pot does the work. So, you know, but stick around and we will be right back with some food to let you know how we think of it. Let you know what we think of it. Absolutely. We have the chicken on the plate. I have to say, I went to use a fork to get it out and it just falls apart. Oh my goodness, I'm excited to taste it. Well, that's encouraging. Now, Bill has a chicken thigh and I have a chicken breast. Uh, so Yeah, we just made them in there together next to each other because I prefer a thigh. And, and I prefer the breast. The breast. Look at that, it just falls right I apart. I know, this is very moist and very tender. Right apart with the, I don't even need a knife. You right? Jeez, look at that. It's like, yeah. And it smells wonderful, let me tell you. So let's see. This is our first taste test I'm of burn my lemon mouth, crack. I'm sure. <laughs> That's pretty good. You could taste the cayenne in there. Okay. <laughs> I think I could do without the cayenne. <laughs> Maybe more garlic and <laughs> salt and pepper. That's pretty good. It's, it's very, very moist. Very mo I would, that's exactly where I was going with that. And there's a lot of juice in there too, so you could um, put a tablespoon of juice Ooh. over it. That cayenne pepper is woo, clearing, mm. the, clearing the sinuses. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it on the second bite. <laughs> if, you, if you enjoy a nice spicy chicken, something different. This has got lemon in it too, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I remember she was zesting a lemon. That was part of it. I zested my knuckle. <laughs> <clears throat> I would say that this would be something I would enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. And it throws a whole different way of making chicken because that's quite different than just trying to make it Ooh. with butter and salt and pepper. It's making my nose. <laughs> we can do without the cayenne or as much cayenne. <laughs> <laughs> it only so, had a half a teaspoon of the cayenne. So if you're interested in how to make this recipe, now that we've tried it, and, and I'll give it a thumbs up. Absolutely, you give it a thumbs I up? do. <laughs> All right, two thumbs up from us. Um, stick around, and we will show you real simply what she put into it and the mm -hmm. amounts and everything, so you don't have to worry. You don't have. It'll be in the description as well. Maybe share with us in the comments what uh, things that you do with chicken mm -hmm. that you enjoy for a chicken dinner or any keto dinner. Because we're all out there looking for something else to add besides the few or three, three or four things that we make and do. <laughs> you tend to get into your basics, and that's what you make all the time. So we figured new year, new Try recipe. Try some new recipes. Now, where did you get this recipe? It's a um, little it's bit a of a yeah, combination. Uh, it's a pretty standard recipe that's out there for the crock pot. We did the slow cook over uh, what eight hours, I think you did, yes. on low. Um, so that way I could cook while I was at work and then be ready for me when we got home. I was ready to might take all the juice out of it or uh, I think you put chicken broth was it? Yeah, there's chicken yeah. stock and chicken broth. I believe it was uh, So maybe you added a little bit more um, When you're gonna do the slow cook, but this was fine I just yeah. was worried if I put it on high that it might dry things out or make things tough So we just cooked it long on uh, slow. Yeah. Yeah, the low you can do high on, I believe it was three to four hours or low for six, six to eight hours. Yeah. So I think we did a little over six yep. for this. 
Okay. So, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I might even like chicken breast. Because it's quite I don't, moist. I don't care for breast, but yeah, see it? Totally different. I much prefer the thighs. <laughs> he likes the dark meat. I like the white meat. There's like no taste to the chicken in a chicken breast to me. Oh, and I think there is, but only because he's used to eating the thigh and it I'm is. used to eating the breast. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty excited for that one. You could give me a whole chicken on a plate and I'm going for the dark meat. Every time. <laughs> this is really good though. Um, if you notice, mine's gone. Um, <laughs> no, very, very good. Uh, so stick around for the recipe at the end of this video. This is a backwards video for us. It's a backwards video. Backwards recipe for us. But it was very impromptu this morning. I said, let's go ahead was, and get it on there since we had the yeah. ingredients. And we only had a few minutes before work, and she really wanted to try this. And it takes the, the, the cooking time, the six hours. Right. So she says, you know, let's real quickly just put this all together. And we did that. Yes. Fast on film. And then we we'll try it. We'll figure we'll try it. And if it worked out good... Put the recipe on the back end of the video for a change. <laughs> so, if you dig it, cool. Uh, stick around, get the recipe. I'll also put it in the description. And let us know in the comments what you, uh, what's, what's your favorite keto meals. Absolutely. Let's get you through the week. Ooh, that cayenne. It's, it's got, got a, a kick, kick to it. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe half the cayenne. <laughs> my nose I is probably running. probably even do without the cayenne. I have to say, I like um, a little but bit if, of heat, but my lips are... <laughs> if you're trying to clear your sinuses out... This is a good mix. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like my nose is getting a little stuffy, so I'm going to go blow my nose. But yeah, stick around for uh, recipe at the end, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take care. We're starting off with chicken. We have chicken breast and thighs, whichever you prefer. I prefer the thighs. I prefer the breast. You're going to place those in the bottom of the crock pot. And spread them out even because I want my thighs touching your breasts. <laughs> Now we're going to add our ingredients, one third cup of chicken stock, <laughs> juice of one lemon without the seeds, please. You can't see me, but I'm puckering up right now because lemon juice is puckering. <laughs> we're going to use the half a zest of one lemon. Don't zest your thumb like I did. Yeah, Stacy zested herself. That hurt. <laughs> well, we don't zest very often. We're not zesty. <laughs> We're not zesty kind of people. I'm surprised we have a zester. I needed it for some other recipe, so See? yeah. <laughs> Little Betty Crocker here. <laughs> Next is one tablespoon garlic powder and one tablespoon onion powder. I just mixed them together and then sprinkled them over. Next is one teaspoon Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon cayenne pepper, which is optional, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. And what we learned in this was the cayenne was a real kick, so maybe even less than that if you're not as brave. Yes, it was definitely a kick. My, my lips were stinging. <laughs> you have two tablespoons of minced garlic. No, or you can use four cloves of garlic if yeah, you prefer. The equivalent was four cloves. We didn't have cloves, so we used minced. We cheat like that. <laughs> and then you're going to do salt and pepper to taste. Uh, we like salt and pepper, mostly pepper. Yeah, a lot of pepper. Although you can see the salt coming out really well in this one. It's white on a black crock pot. <laughs> And last but not least, you're going to use a half a stick of butter, diced. Just place that over the top of your chicken evenly so you get a nice mixture of the butter. It's in a crock pot. It's going to do its thing. 
It will. You can just throw it in there even. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. We're going to have the full recipe in the description, so don't worry about having to pause your screen. Yeah, and you can also go to bonsaiketo.com under recipes, and there's a PDF there, so you can click it and print it. Now, now we have a seven-quart crock pot. It's a little larger, and uh, I love this thing, Hamilton Beach. We're going to cook it on low for about six to eight hours. Or you can do high for three to four hours, depending on your timing. And that's looking good. It smells amazing, too. Very tender, very moist, very good, very flavorful. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>